Bonhams is honoured to present for auction Designing an Empire, the John Mollo Archive. The double Academy Award winning costume designer who began his career as a film advisor for historical military uniform kept a complete record of his work. He was costume designer for the industry's greatest directors on some of Hollywood's most renowned productions. Star Wars gave him this sort of big reputation in, in the industry which helped get him other work. Um, but I think it was a combination of, he, he probably had a reputation for being a very good person to work with. He delivered, you know, that was probably very important. But then also he, he, he could just turn his hand to absolutely any subject. First of all, he was a very special man. He was unique. I mean, you could say he was a gentleman and a, and a gentleman. He was a pleasure to work with. He was always organised. Um, in all the time I, I, I worked with him, I don't think... I ever saw him lose his temper or get ruffled and none of the people working here ever saw him like that and it was great to work with someone that knew what they wanted and gave you such fantastic research and reference to work from um, and you know if you look at his sketches you can actually see exactly what what he wants you know you can see the character and that is very rare in a costume designer. He started really as a historical advisor on films like Charge of the Light Brigade. He then went on and worked with Kubrick. He'd just finished uh, working on Barry Lyndon as a historical advisor and following that he was recommended by the costume designer from uh, on Barry Lyndon to uh, George Lucas um, because uh, she couldn't, she was booked up, she couldn't do the job. And so my father really was catapulted into pre-production for Star Wars on what was his first credit as a costume designer. John, I think, was one of a kind. Um, I think the military background can be seen from his sketches. It can be seen for how he develops an idea. Um, and, and yes, he, was a, he, he did stand apart because he was so attentive of detail, but not the detail that majority of designers would do, which would be about braiding and lace and everything. John was meticulous about detail that other people wouldn't, wouldn't think about doing. Um, he was very special. He was a really special designer. His childhood was spent painting these toy soldiers in minute detail and they did all their sort of research from historical paintings and prints and things. So he loved um, the art, so old art really, um, from, from the sort of 18th and 19th century. So he got a lot of inspiration from that. I, I think normally John will come in knowing pretty much what he wanted. Unless, you, if, it, if it was something, um, a, a factual film, or you know, Gandhi or whatever it might have been, he would have known what he wanted. When it was something a little bit more out the ordinary, he'd come in and go through stock. He'd sit down and tell us what the piece was about, what he was looking for, what he wanted making if he couldn't find it, um, and, and work with you. Um, so that was how, how it worked. He enjoyed working with Kubrick, I know. I mean, Kubrick had uh, I think they probably had quite a special relationship because they both had incredible obsessive attention to detail and I think they got on well. You, whilst he was incredibly creative and you know, really helped to create that whole look on the first Star Wars film, um, his main focus would have been actually just delivering the costumes on time, making sure they worked for the actors. Um, uh, uh, you know, but there was this wonderful creativity that sort of acted as a thread through everything. I think that any costumes in a film shouldn't be noticed. You shouldn't notice, you're, you're watching a whole, a whole piece and I think it's very wrong if the costumes stand out. So I can understand why Lucas would have said that. And I think what made it stand out was precisely what Lucas said. He wanted everyone to look at the whole rather than focus on anything in particular. I mean, his costumes look like clothes, therefore you didn't notice them. He would obviously get briefed by a director and had intense conversations with um, George Lucas around uh, for, for Star Wars, but his, the way he executed it was through different, sketching different iterations. And if you follow those books, you know, it, it, it kind of go, you can see how he works from concept stage to all the minute practicalities that were required to actually make these costumes work. 
John didn't epitomise what one would think of as a costume designer, but I think what made him great was be because of that and because of his background, this military organised person, it made what he did very special. And I think, yes, that made him stand out from from the rest. I remember the sketches, the sketchbooks all my life. They were always around. Um, yeah, and they, they kind of really are his legacy, as it were. This comprehensive collection of costume designs is unlike anything that has been seen at auction before. These complete journals are a fascinating insight into Molo's Oscar-celebrated designs and methods of working for some of cinema's most iconic characters.